at the center of a lot of workflows is the PSD. So whether you're doing app design, screen design, or web design like I have here, you're gonna be using Photoshop and you can generate image assets and you can also copy the CSS out of a PSD. But what if you don't have access to Photoshop? Uh, what if you're not a Creative Cloud member? How can you do these same things and more, to be honest with you? Well, in fact, that's what I'm gonna do right now by going into the files area of Creative Cloud. And all you have to do is take that same PSD and sync it to Creative Cloud, which is exactly what I've done here for this file and you can get the details on this PSD. You can get the activity on it. You can share this with anyone you want, whether it's the client or the web developer. They could have access to this PSD. They don't need to be a Creative Cloud member. And this is the cool thing, is they can use this extract feature. It is in preview only right now. And this is wonderful because as I take a look and start to roll over these items, I can start to get details on them. So if I select this Jet Set Guide, you can see the size either in pixels or percentages. What if I wanted to see how far away it is from the edge. Well, shift click and you can see that it's about 15% uh, from the side again because I had percentages selected. So I can get measurements, sizes of all of these elements. Even as I select that background, getting the gradient. Okay, so I can see all the colors for this file, but I can see that gradient right there, the fonts and the CSS. So this is where it gets exciting. As I even select this text and I can copy the CSS or copy it over here. But not only copy the CSS but use some preprocessors if I want to as well. I'll just copy all that CSS and then you can use it wherever you want. I'm actually just jumping into Dreamweaver and right in here in Dreamweaver I can paste in that CSS and you can see that text right here. You can see that CSS right here as well. And really this could be your workflow. Going from a PSD in the browser, copying that CSS, uh, going to your code editor, pasting in that CSS, and in fact, there's some inline CSS in here, so it will get it all, and you can divide it up accordingly, and it's nice. I can apply some source formatting to make it nice and neat, and you can see that text right there. So that's CSS. Let's go beyond CSS at this point because beyond these CSS styles, I can access all of the various layers rolling over them. Actually, Photoshop can't even do this, but nonetheless, I can take this to the next level because the assets is what I want to extract now. So for this image, for instance, I can select it and know what I want to do? Not just copy the CSS, let's get that image, extract that asset. It gives me that file based on the name of that layer, JPEG, adjust the quality, click save. It says extracting asset, look for it in the assets panel, there it is. And I can continue to do that for all of these elements. In fact, I can shift select multiple elements if I wanted to group them into one image. But these, I just want them to be single images. And again, I'm just extracting each one as JPEGs. You have ping files, SVG, ping 32. Uh, you get the idea as I extract all these images. So I don't have to worry about fumbling through layers to get to these assets. You can see them right here. And if you want to download them, just click on them as I'm doing right now. And I'm downloading all those 14 images uh, to my desktop. And I can start to use them in my development of this website. Here are all the images, take them, put them where I want to put them. In fact, I just drop them in that folder, refresh this page. And there you have it, the website that I'm working on. Again, this is exactly what I'd expect from a workflow like this. And not only that, you have access to layer comps right in here. So as I turn on rollover, that's a layer comp that gives me that particular render. Want to find out more? There's plenty more you can do. Uh, just go ahead and check out the FAQ and thanks for watching.